morning guys, it's week 144 in the Out of Horror. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Aggression Scale. This has just been released over in the UK a few months back. I'm sure it's released in the US as well. It's directed by Stephen C. Miller who did Automate and Transfusion. He's also just done the recent Silent Night, Deadly Night remake, Silent Night that's getting a release in the US in a couple of weeks time. That looks awesome in my opinion. The trailer looks absolutely awesome. And he's also done a film called Under the Bed, which the premise of that sounds brilliant, to be honest. Um, it's produced by Eben Kostbar, Joseph McKellier and Travis Stevens. And it's also written by Ben Powell. The cast, Ray Wise, plays Bella Vance. Derek Mears plays Chisholm. Dana Ashbrook plays Lloyd. Fabrienne Therese plays Lauren. And Ryan Hartwig plays Owen. The synopsis on it is... Charged with murder and likely going to jail, crime boss Reg Bellavance is out on bail and wants to skip town with his son. The only problem is that the money he had stashed away for such an occasion has gone missing. Bellavance gives his right hand man Lloyd a simple order. Find his money, kill everyone who had a hand in stealing it and make it messy. Lloyd and his crew tear out into the city and began, begin carrying out the orders in brutal fashion. They have no idea just how dangerous their job is about to get. Now, before I saw this, um, I heard people saying it was like Home Alone, but for the horror crowd. I totally have to agree with that quote. It's definitely like Home Alone. There's young kids setting fucking traps for the, um, for the daft gangster type people. Um, but these aren't, these aren't really daft. The, the, the kids just fucking mental. Um, and these these guys just can't fucking kill them. They kill the adults pretty easy, but these two kids, well, the the daughter in this um, can't really handle herself, but the, the kid, he's just got out of a mental institution. He's only young, and he just fucking, he just knows exactly what to do when these guys come. Um, and it's, yeah, it's really good. I've also heard people say that it's like a made-for-TV film, which I totally have to disagree with. Um, I thought this was a very well-made film, to be honest, and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I've watched it twice now, and I've enjoyed it just as much the second time round as when I first saw it. Um, I thought the acting was great. I've heard people say that the acting was a bit stale. Uh, I have to disagree with that. The acting was great. The young brother and sister in this did a very good job. Even though the brother is mute throughout the film, he doesn't even speak because he's messed up in the head. But he, he just plays it brilliantly, even though he's mute. So I thought they did a really good job. I also really liked the gang. I thought all the guys that played the gang members did really well. I thought Derek Mears proves that he can act without a mask on. Dana Ashbrook kills it as the boss's right-hand man, Lloyd. The only problem I had with this movie is I would have liked to have seen more gore, quite a lot more gore. Um, I think it would have took the flick to the next level. I think people would have been talking about it a, a lot, a lot more than they have been if we'd have seen plenty of good gore effects in it. Don't get me wrong, it is brutal what they do and it has some good kills in it. It's just, there's just not enough gore in it for me. Um, but... Apart from that, I loved the movie, I thought it was great, but just, yeah, just the gore was missing for me. Overall, I definitely recommend this, it's got loads of action in it. Um, it's a perfect Saturday night popcorn movie, in my opinion. Um, and I think Stephen C. Miller is definitely a director that we should be getting excited about, because he's doing it, as, he's doing it quiet, well, quieter than Ty West and people like that. They're coming up big and everyone's talking about them. This guy, not many people talk about him. I think after we've seen Silent Night and Under the Bed, we'll all be talking about this guy. I think he's got a real talent. So I'm going to give this a 7.5 out of 10. I'm going to highly recommend it. Thanks, guys. I'll see you all next week.